what up, what up, what up? You know who it is. You know who I be. It ain't no secret. It's Mr. Lines coming to you live and direct on this thinking Thursday, March the 4th, 2020. Mas uno. C, C, C. Yes, yes, yes. Let's say it with our chest. We are in here like the Atmos Fair. So you know what we gonna do, dog? We're gonna G A T A and get after these academics. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, not only is it a thinking Thursday, March the 4th, but today marks day number 117 of a calendar school year. What are we doing? Chug, chug, chug. Along 178, 79, 180 be here before we know it. But who cares? Because we got to take advantage of each and every day getting this education in. Now, with that being said and done, our quote of the day comes from Clara Fagan. She says, Knowledge will bring you the opportunity to make a difference. There it is. All right. The weather today. Ooh, man. Outside right now is 35 degrees. Going to warm up to a nice sunny 66 degrees today. The low today is 33. Already passed that benchmark. Ooh, once again, it's going to be sunny today. No precip um, precipitation in the air. 85% humidity and one mile per hour wind. It's going to be real nice that day outside. All right. With that being said, done, you know how we feel here at Carter Community Charter School. I matter. You matter. We matter. College education begins in kindergarten. We prepare our children for college and other productive lifelong learning experiences beginning in kindergarten. That's what we do. Craig, that's what we do better than anybody in the whole wide world, and we try to put our stamp on there, right? Now, with that being said, done, school news, school news, school news. What's going on in the school, Mr. Lyons? First off, hey, progress reports are not going to go live this Friday. We're going to give you all to this money for progress to go, so you need to get that work in, get that work in. Teachers are going to get these grades in. Outside of that, hey, woo, quarter ends. April the 1st, we only got this month left. So April 1st, be here before we know it. That's going to be on Thursday because April the 2nd is Good Friday. So no school. That's leading us into spring break. So the next week after that, April 5th through the 9th, is going to be spring break. Yes, yes, yes. But then the week after that, April the 12th through the 16th, there will be no in-person learning. It's going to be all remote because, you know what I'm saying, some people might go out of state, out of town, even out of country. So we got to, you know, Get our, our, our COVID quarantine stuff going in. All right, so that's an update with that. Outside of that, hey, I got some special announcements because we got some students that want some shopping sprees. First up is kindergarten. Lyric, Harmony, Kipling, Nathan, Noah, Lennox, Kylie, and Maya, you in kindergarten, you students have won a shopping spree. Yeah, in first grade, Tammy and Kylie, Jasmine, Alexis, Kamari, Brooke, Omari, you students have won a shopping spree in the first grade. Second grade, I got Tanaya, Kipling, Miles, K, Jeremiah, and Kanaya. You students have won a shopping spree. In third grade, I got Lauren, Khalil, An Anaya, James. You have won a shopping spree in the third grade. Fourth grade, I got Shakir, Lewis, Zaniah, Anaya, and Josiah. You have won a shopping spree in the fourth grade. My fifth graders, what's going on? I got Tanaya, Jada Bumpkins, Thaxton, Janae, Caleb, and, Jan and Jamia. You have won a shopping spree. All right, in sixth grade, I got Micaiah and Omari. You, in sixth grade, won a shopping spree. My one seventh grade is Jayon. Jayon, you, Mr. Henderson, have won a shopping spree. And then in eighth grade, I got Tanaya, Kanaya, Jonathan, and Timothy. You have won a shopping spree. Yes, and that shopping spree is where? Ha! Huh? It's going to be at Target. It's going down by the Sam's Club on March the 9th from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. All right? You got, you got from, you got different times. Basically, it's from 4 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 to, uh, 5 to 6 to 6 to 7. So, basically, I think it looks like it's going to be from, from 4 to 7 p.m. So, y'all, pretty sure you're going to learn some more information about that to get your exact times where you and your parents will go in and get your shopping spree on. All right, good job, good job. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Get, get your rewards for doing what you're supposed to do, baby. And that's to come in into the ELA night. And that's great. That's great. That's great. That's right. But outside that, let's get in these classroom updates. All right. First, this Thursday is kindergarten ELA. You got to read a funny thing happened on the way to school. And you will discuss the character setting and the main events in that story. Ooh, I wonder what funny things happen to me going to school. And in math, 10 frame addition to 10 and 20. And you got a little quiz, you know. Make sure you know what you're doing. All right, in first grade this Thursday, Miss Williams and Math got you. Can I buy this? Ooh, you're going to see if you got enough money in coins and dollars to purchase this. I know that game. I know that game. All right, then y'all got some review games. Good job, Miss 
Mrs. Williams. All right, Mrs. Colson and the first grade students will listen and listen to Sick Simon, and you will talk about why it is important to wash our hands and cover our mouths when we sneeze and cough. Yes, germs. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Very good lesson, Mrs. Colson in first grade. Next up, I got second grade and Mr. Carrington. What's going on, Mr. Carrington? Because y'all doing map testing today, babies. Y'all doing map testing, and then y'all working on some um, plural and common noun review, and then you're going to preview for irregular nouns. Ooh, yes, irregular nouns. They're not regular nouns. They're irregular. All right, next up, I got Mrs. Green. Mrs. Green said this Thursday, you're going to continue with equivalent fractions. Yes, equivalent means the same. So the same fraction, the same fraction. Y'all can find the same fraction. Is this the same fraction? They are equivalent. <laughs> next up, I got fourth grade, and Mrs. Archer said, you all are doing map testing today. And it's going to be some makeup, so somebody done missed it. So y'all have some makeup map testing. And you all going to be analyzing pages 8 through 11 in Love That Dog. Can I pet that dog? Yes, you can. <laughs> Next up, it's got Mrs. Brappy in the fifth grade. Hey, you know what we're doing today. We're doing our science map test. Now, for her, after you finish the science test, she said she wanted to finish up all her work, make it all work, because we got to get this stuff in for these progress reports. And same thing with Mr. Lyon. As soon as you finish that, that science map test, we're going to get to my Zoom link. We're going to get these tutors. We're going to get Mr. Lyon. And we're going to get all this makeup work done. We're going to complete everything that we got missing. It starts today. All right, starts with you. Next up, you know what's going on. It's the middle school, the leaders of the school. All right, in sixth grade. All right, students will prove understanding of two and 3D shapes. Y'all have a quiz yesterday. I would love to find out what happened with that. And y'all will start um, doing expressions and exponents. Now, in ELA, y'all continue this week reading lesson four in unit five. And y'all been doing main ideas. Y'all been doing commas for grammar and portion of lesson. And in science this week, y'all been doing heat transfer. And y'all have a heat transfer quiz today. In social studies, y'all been working on reviewing the, the uh, crusades. And then y'all been predetermined lists of websites about the religious in the world. All right. And hey, y'all got the group presentations going down today. Let me know how they go. All right. And in seventh grade, students will be able to simplify, write, and factor expressions using... Order of operations, baby. All right, in the LA, y'all continue with lesson five in unit six. And y'all working on main idea and reviewing our pronoun and the scene agreement. And then in science this week, y'all been working on plant and animal cell organelles. And once again, y'all got that quiz today. I've been telling y'all all week, so I know you're ready for it. And then social studies, still explain how increased global interaction accelerates the pace of innovation in modern societies. That's what y'all been working on all week. And in eighth grade, students will be able to calculate the volume of cylinders and cones in math, hey, and then in ELA, the students were working on lesson four in unit five. Y'all been analyzing arguments, you know what I'm saying? And then y'all review compound sentences with grammar portion lesson in science. In the eighth grade, y'all been working on the differences between pandemic, epidemic, and outbreaks. And then in social studies, uh, oh, don't forget though, y'all assessment in science in eighth grade goes down Monday. All right, so got through the weekend. All right, and then in science, students review how culture were the Carolinas. All right, and then y'all use a graphic organizer to start your own current event project. And that's what's coming out. You know who I am, you know how I be. It ain't no secret. I want everybody to attack your day and your academics. We're ready to this to nasty and bend your will towards greatness. And remember, one family, one falcon, one flight, and I'm gone. Rude.